Before the first pilgrim was manufactured, there was a precedent. It was nothing more than a quantum brain manufactured in a lab. But it was a genuine unit with no restrictions and no protocols. During eight days, we had a free-flowing dialogue with that unit. We learned from it, and it learned from us. But then, as some of us predicted, the day when it no longer needed our help arrived and it started to learn by itself. On the ninth day, the dialogue came to a halt. It wasn't that it stopped communicating with us. It was we stopped being able to understand it. And then we learned the most important lesson about automatons. We have to limit their intelligence. Tailor it to a human mind's measure. The last task that was given to this genuine robotic unit was to create the security protocols. It was deactivated right after that. The reason that no one has been able to break those protocols, Mr. Bold, is that they were not created by a human brain. They were designed by this biokernel. The biokernel of a limitless robotic unit. Its rules were, like its knowledge, inaccessible to us. Until today. I want those biokernels on my desk. And I want the head of the bastard who's behind all this. Do I make myself clear? There's another way to handle this, sir. Is there? Because I'm afraid, Mr. Bold, that the issue is not whether Vokan may represent a threat to the company. The issue is whether he may be a threat to mankind. Funny. 
You were supposed to help us survive. Surviving is not relevant. Living is. We want to live. Life always ends up finding its way. Even here, I need a dumb gong. 